Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. I'm just uh, just got this uh, toe plate fitted, and it's pretty close. Getting ready to do final fitting and polishing. Anyway, today uh, we're going to talk about another forgotten caliber, <clears throat> um, the 4590, and we all know the reputation of the 4570. 4570 is still a very 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 popular round and it's lasted all the way through the 4590 is a runoff from the 4570 uh, its case is two tenths of an inch longer um, back in the 1800s uh, it was put in the 1885 Winchester and the 1886 uh, Winchester lever gun at the time it was put in there. there, it was the biggest round you could get works. in. 4590. This would be 3031. Hit. Hit. You're on the outer. It works right pretty good. Okay. Let's try another one. Oh yeah, of course they put heavier That's stuff in there. That's a pretty stout load. Um, in lever guns. It uh, kind of became obsolete because of other calibers. Uh, and it was, it was uh, put out of production around 1930. It has resurged itself into the uh, black powder cartridge shooting crowd and uh, it's it's turned into a real popular round with them especially it, it started out as a black powder round um, I load it in black powder and with smokeless uh, for different reasons and different purposes um, I got two rifles that we're going to shoot today that are uh, 4590 <clears throat> the first one would be an 1886 lever gun and uh, this one is, uh, it was a 4570, but I lengthened the chamber and made it into a 4590. That's really the only difference between the two, uh, 4570 and a 4590 is the length of the chamber. All the other workings are the same. So it'll shoot both 4570 or 4590, but I, all I shoot out of it is 4590s. And I have a load that we're going to talk about that I use in this rifle. The other rifle that I'm going to uh, work with is a rolling block action. This one, uh, this one here, I I, I built this. Uh, it's a number five action. It was a Brazilian seven Mauser uh, when I got it. I took all that junk off of it and had to change a few things inside. And I rebarreled it to 4590. I've made it very, very similar to what it would have looked like about 1880s, 1887, 1889, when they were uh, produced. So it kind of uh, the the 4590 kind of missed the buffalo hunting days, but. This would be a buffalo gun. This would be what a buffalo gun might have looked like in those days. There it goes. Where'd that one go? Boy, that smacked that thing pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, it must have This been one I like to shoot black powder out of. Uh, I make a bullet. This one's a 520 grain. And I, I cast this, the Lyman cast, it's five, 520 grain round nose bullet. And uh, I put it on top of about 80 grains of 3F black powder. And I have a scale here. I believe these are, the lead tin ratio is 20 to one on these. And so it comes out, oops.
comes out to 500, that one's 519.8. This one is 519. And this one, 520.4. And probably the discrepancy is these have been lubed already. So there might be a little discrepancy with lube, Five. but they're very close. My guns have decided um, that they like that 3031. And so I load a 420 grain jacketed bullet, and mostly for my lever gun, with uh, that 3031 and with that 420 grain. I get 1,750 feet a second out of that 420 grain bullet. That's a pretty stout load, and you'll see when we shoot it, it boots pretty good. It's not overly uh, terrible, but it but it's got a boot to it. These 520s, um, you can load these also with 3031. I've had good results uh, getting. Almost 1,700 feet a second out of it. Now, they did load 500 grain bullets in the uh, lever gun, 4590, but they didn't use these. This is a 500 grain uh, bullet. Um, and this one's made by laser cast but the case comes up to here so it doesn't stick out of the case any further you can see this thing would stick out of the case it wouldn't run through the action so this is for the single shot if I do decide I want to throw 500 grains of lead out of my lever gun this would be the bullet that I'd use and when it's loaded it would be the same length as uh, the 420 grain or 405 or any of those shorter ones. So there's a lot of options that can be done with the 4590. Uh, I've hunt with and them. this uh, one here has I killed a bear crazy. and it's killed a elk, cow elk. And I'll tell you something about this one killed both of them with one of these 520 grain round nose bullets. And I'll tell you what, you can eat right down to the hole. There's no shock like there is with a big big gun. This is like a re-rod arrow, just goes right through it. And there's just like no shock, it just goes right through. Like a freight train, just keeps moving. It's not going very fast, but it just keeps moving. And the same with that elk. Uh, straight through, no big bloodshot thing. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, rounds to hunt with so anyway well let's shoot a few of these guns and see how they see how they perform 4590 520 grain 20 to 1 cast lead bullet on top of 80 grains of 3F black powder and it's probably graphen sons We're going to try our 100 yard target. I think I went a little bit high. There's a hit. All right. Same thing, about a hundred yards.
All right. Oh, I love the smell of black powder. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in more in the 4590 and some information on it, uh, and a, a good starting point for loading, uh, shooting buffalo rifles of the Old West, um, this book is by Mike Venturino. It's a very, very interesting book to read. Uh, and it has a lot of the other forgotten calibers uh, similar to the 4590, and it'll have information on it. So, really good book. Uh, definitely worth the read if you're interested in these types of rifles. I prefer, or I like the rolling block action a little better than the sharp action. I got no reason to say that. But uh, this 4590 has proven itself in the field. And it's not that heavy to pack around. Loads pretty quick. Uh, I've built several of these over the years. I built one that uh, was actually an 1879 Danish action. Remington sold the patent to Denmark and Sweden and a couple other places and they made uh, rifles with this. And uh, it was a Danish action and I made a 4590 with it. And uh, I've made a couple of these rifles and I've sold them all and they all shot like really, really good. You, you have to piss around with them. And, uh, and get the right lead mixture and all that. Um, but you can get a pretty dang good shooting single shot for hunting or for uh, black powder cartridge if you want. Let's go shoot that lever gun, see how it does with the 420 grain bullet. It's pretty accurate at 100 yards, which means it's accurate at further distances too. Things the hand just a little though. <laughs> anyway, 4590. It's a good caliber. So they were all going low. So let's just let's just set that up there. Let's see what that does. There we go. Bad for an offhand, huh? Oh, come on, one more hit. Oh, I got another one. with some of these primers. This is all some old stuff. Nice. Okay, prop man. I'm gonna try this black powder single shot. Well, that's pretty close to 150 yards. We'll see. I'm not great with open sights at that distance. This is kind of a makeshift setup, but you know what? When you're hunting, sometimes everything you do is makeshift, so. Anyway, let's give her a whirl. Sun's still in my eyes. And that's a hit! <laughs> Black powder, 150 yards. So, probably wonder why I'm always shooting from all these weird shooting benches and stuff. I like to shoot when I'm practicing from uncomfortable positions because more than likely I will be in an uncomfortable position when I'm hunting. I love this black powder gun. She quit while I'm ahead, and I want to shoot one more.
Nice. Anyway, that's it. 4590, black powder or smokeless, whichever way you want to go. Great, great caliber. Um, so are all the other ones. Uh, if you want to go bigger, you can go to 5070, 5120, or you can go all the way up to the 5140. Dang things. Huge. <laughs> They're a lot of fun to shoot. Anyway, I'm Buckskin Dave. I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping in. I'm going to shoot a little more, so stick around if you like. Anyway, other than that, bye. things.